Hi, it's Peter. My office asked uh, for you to send in any questions you may have, and we've got hundreds. It's amazing. And today I'm going to take some time and answer a few of them. Tricia from Williston asked about climate change and what can we do. First of all, that's the existential challenge that we face. And we're seeing it with just the absolute wild weather that we're having throughout the country and the way the weather's changed in Vermont. So this is long overdue. With the Inflation Reduction Act, it was the first time we had major legislation to provide incentives to move to clean energy and away from fossil fuels. We've got to keep the pressure on. But that's had an impact because now private sector companies are investing in clean energy. We have to keep that up. I've been very active in the efficiency side of trying to cut down on carbon emissions. If we're going to get to the greenhouse gas levels that are sustainable, 40% of that reduction will come from efficiency. And of course, we have our efficiency utility in Vermont, uh, but every one of us is doing everything we can to cut down on the carbon emissions we use. Energy efficiency incentives are a very helpful way to do it. But frankly, everything we're doing, we've got to do more of. We've got to do it faster. Gary from Williston asks, what can you do to level the playing field between the upper 1% and everyone else? You know, this is an issue of our time. What we have right now with our tax system is upside down. Billionaires pay very little, working families pay a lot, especially when you add in Social Security. We should have a billionaire's tax just to try to get the tax code fair. Second, we should have an IRS that doesn't uh, turn a blind eye to billionaires who don't pay their taxes. And that's why I voted to put money into the Internal Revenue Service so they can collect the money that's owed. And then third, our governmental programs have to help families. They've got to be confident that they can get a good education for their kids, that they can have childcare that's affordable when they go to work, uh, that they can have paid family leave uh, when they get sick or a loved one is sick. So there's got to be a focus on the needs of everyday working families when it comes to governmental programs. And tax fairness means that the billionaires who haven't been paying their fair share, it's time they do. Thomas from Grafton is asking whether the Affordable Connectivity Program will be extended. So let me explain what the Affordable Connectivity Program is. It's a rebate to help low-income folks uh, have access to high-speed internet. And you know, we all are aware that in 2024, everybody, everybody needs high-speed internet, just like everybody needs electricity. And the connectivity program has been helpful. You know, it's not all that great if there's internet right outside your door, but you can't afford to connect. We've got bipartisan support to extend it, and that's because rural America, whether you're Republican or Democrat, you got to have it. So I have some confidence we'll get it extended and I'm going to work as hard as I can to make certain that happens. Kathy from Randolph is asking a question on the mind of Vermonters. Can you get anything done in Washington in such a partisan environment and is there any room for bipartisanship? You know, I'm going to say two things. First, it is incredibly partisan and that's really damaging to the future of America. We have to come together to address the major problems that the country faces and work out the divisions. And it's a tough time. But I found that if I relate to my colleagues on the basis of what their constituents and my constituents need, like internet, like addressing the fentanyl problem, like for instance, I have a bill that was signed into law that I co-sponsored with Ted Cruz from Texas. We're not aligned on much politically, but we shared a common goal. By working on that specific thing, we got something done. That's the way we do it in Vermont, and that's the style of doing political business that I try to bring here to Washington. So we'll see, but my goal every day is to find common ground to solve problems that we share with other Americans.